My mom died of a stroke three years ago. She was at her job, sitting at a sewing machine in a factory over in Hampton, and she killed over. We kids didn't know anything about it. We came home from school, and we played just like we always did, and ate up half the food in the refrigerator, which we weren't supposed to do. And she didn't come home, and we kept on waiting, and finally, Steph said we ought to do our homework. So some of them did, not me, <laughs> were doing it, and Daddy came in. We knew something had bad had happened. He worked the 3 to 11 shift, so he'd come home right in the middle of work, and his eyes were red. I've never seen him cry before. I never even thought that he could cry, and he told us. We've, got, we've gotten along without her, but it's been hard. My dad is a quiet person. He's frail looking, and after Mama died, he seemed to get paler and smaller. Sometimes we didn't even notice he was home. With all the noise us kids made, it didn't used to be like that. I remember times when he'd come in from work and put one finger to his lips to keep us quiet. He'd line us up behind him. We'd creep into the kitchen and grab Mom from behind. She'd shriek and swat at us, and we'd fall down laughing. It's not his fault things changed. Daddy will do anything for you. He never yells, and if he sees something he's bothering you, he'll try to make you feel better. He'll buy you a candy bar and slip it to you behind his back so the other kids don't see. He'll give you a dollar or tell you something he overheard about the Orioles' latest trade. Or he'll sit down and try to work your problem out one point at a time. He tries, but he, he can't be Mom. You see, Mom can make you feel special, even if you had a face like a garbage can lid. She hugged you on the outside and the inside, too. I'm the one in the family who was bad in school. I tried. When the report cards came out, it was always the same. Mine was the worst. I failed third grade and barely slid by the next year. Mom never blamed me. She said, some kids like Tony find it easy to learn, and that's good. But the ones I admire most are the ones who keep on trying, even when it's hard. 